In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on March 17, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Drake vs. Miami, Florida The Drake Bulldogs and Miami Hurricanes meet Friday in the college basketball NCAA tournament first round at the MVP Arena. The Bulldogs are 9-3 against the spread in their last 12 Friday games and 8-1 against the spread in their last 9 games overall. The Hurricanes are 7-1-1 against the spread in their last 9 Friday games and 0-4 against the spread in their last 4 games overall. The under is 6-0 in Bulldogs' last 6 overall. The under is 6-2 in Hurricanes' last 8 neutral site games. The Miami Hurricanes have the coach, experience, and guard play to make a deep run in this tournament, but they've also had issues with defense and turnovers at times as well. The Drake Bulldogs shoot the ball as well as any team in the country. They play defense, and they take care of the ball. Drake is going to be a tough out for anybody. Give me the free buckets in a game Drake could easily win outright. So the Drake Bulldogs to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The under is 5-0 in the Bulldogs' last five games following an against-the-spread win, 4-0 in their last four games versus a team with a winning percentage above .600, and 6-0 in their last six overall. The under's also 9-3 in the Hurricanes' last 12 games following an against-the-spread loss and 5-0 in their last five NCAA tournament games. The slow-paced Bulldogs average 66.4 possessions per game and are just 98th nationally in schedule-adjusted offensive efficiency, while the Canes are top 15 in offensive efficiency and higher tempo. They'll miss enough shots against Drake's defense, which is top 50 in points surrendered, opponent field goal percentage, and opponent three-point shooting percentage. The Hurricanes could also be at a disadvantage in the paint without Amir, who is a rugged rebounding machine. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Florida Atlantic vs. Memphis The Florida Atlantic Owls and Memphis Tigers will be trying to advance to the second round of the NCAA tournament when they meet in the first round on Friday night. The Owls are coming off a 78-56 win over UAB as two-point underdogs. The Tigers are coming off a 75-65 win over Houston as five-and-a-half-point underdogs. The quest for a national title begins on Friday for the number eight Memphis Tigers and the number nine Florida Atlantic Owls. The Tigers come into this game as American American Athletic Conference tournament champs after demolishing Tulane in the semifinals and taking care of a Marcus Sasser less Houston squad in the finals. They are playing very well as of late, ranking in the top 25 in adjusted offensive and defensive efficiency since February 11th per Bart Torvik with an 8-2 straight up record in that time. Florida Atlantic also ranks in the top 25 defensively over roughly the last month, as the Owls are 8-1 straight up since February 11th and Conference USA tournament champs. However, they are outside the top 60 in adjusted offensive efficiency in that time frame, which is a bit worrisome against Memphis's physicality, experience, and defensive prowess. Florida Atlantic is one of four teams that won 30-plus games this year, but the Tigers are the best team the Owls will have faced this season by a decent margin. Memphis has a lead athleticism and is going to be difficult to score against in transition, which is an area on which Florida Atlantic relies for offense. Furthermore, Kendrick Davis and Alex Lomax are great defensively against pick and rolls and should be able to contain Florida Atlantic's Brian Greenlee, Nick Boyd, and Jalen Gaffney in those sets. The Owls have a size advantage in the post with Vladislav Golden, but outside of him, this team lacks size to combat to Andre Williams and Malcolm Dandridge in the paint. Defensively, Golden is one of the best shot blockers in the country due to his size and wingspan. 
but I expect him to struggle with Williams' athleticism and offensive skill set in the post. Golden commits 4.9 fouls per 40 minutes, so I would not be surprised to see him in foul trouble. For what it is worth, Golden committed four fouls and played just 17 minutes against Florida early in the season, which led to Colin Castleton going off for 30 points and 12 rebounds despite Florida's loss. If Golden is in foul trouble during this game, the Owls will lose their size advantage in the post, and most importantly their rim protection. Williams would take advantage of that and so would Davis, who is one of the best scorers in the country. The Owls have been great all year, but a non-conference strength of schedule that ranks 248 and an overall strength of schedule that ranks 136 per Ken Palm tells me they may not be quite as good as their numbers would suggest. Whereas the Tigers have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the country's best teams and had success against most of them even in straight-up losses, the Tigers are a couple of tiers above the Owls in my opinion, so the Memphis Tigers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. Number 8 Memphis ranks 17th in both adjusted tempo and average possession length according to Ken Palm, while number 9 Florida Atlantic ranks 126th in adjusted tempo and 77th in average possession length. Furthermore, both teams are listed in the top 35 in transition rate according to Hoop Math, so they love to get up and down the floor and score in a hurry. I am not fully convinced Memphis will allow Florida Atlantic to run the floor and score easily in transition, but the Owls certainly shoot enough threes to keep pace for an over in this matchup. On the other side of the floor, Memphis will have an advantage over Florida Atlantic. The Tigers are the only top 60 offense the Owls will have played this year outside of UAB who ranks 47th in adjusted offensive efficiency. The Owls allowed an average of 76 points per game in three games against UAB despite the Owls holding the Blazers to just 56 points in the Conference USA title game last weekend, so I think it is safe to pencil Memphis in for at least 80 in this game. For what it is worth, Memphis has scored at least 80 points in all 11 games it has played against teams that rank in the top 100 in average possession length with nine of them being at least 87-point performances. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Arizona State vs. TCU In the first round of the big dance in the West Region 11th seed Arizona State takes on 6th seed TCU. Arizona State won their first four game to get to this first round matchup and they have won three of their last four games. Their offense blew up in their first four game putting up 98 points but on the season the team has been led by a defense that is giving up an average of only 68 points per game. TCU has lost two of their last three games and only put up 60 points in losing in the semifinals of the Big 12 tournament. They are a balanced team that has beaten two ranked teams in their last four games. This game is being held at the neutral site of the Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. The Sun Devils are 5-2 against the spread in their last seven neutral site games and 0-5-1 against the spread in their last six Friday games. The Horned Frogs are 1-5 against the spread in their last six Friday games and 3-8 against the spread in their last 11 games overall. The over is 7-3 in Sun Devils' last 10 neutral site games. The under is 4-0 in Horned Frogs' last four overall. Arizona State comes in this this first round game after scoring a season-high 98 points in their last game in the first four. They have won three of their last four games, while TCU has lost two of their last three games, and they are only 3-8 against the spread in their last 11 games. The Sun Devils are confident coming into this game, and they not only lit up the scoreboard in their last game but shot 63.6% .6 from the floor. On the flip side, the Horned Frogs have only scored 60 points in the two losses in their last three games, and in their last one only shot 35.6%. The Arizona State Sun Devils have issues scoring the ball, but they found something against Nevada, and it makes you wonder if they can bottle some of that up for the next round. We've seen teams from the first four in the past build on that momentum and go on a run in the main tournament. The TCU Horned Frogs have been hit or miss a lot this year, and their offense comes and goes as well. This could be interesting. Arizona State will put up a fight in this game in what I see being a close game. So the Arizona State Sun Devils to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. While Arizona State put up a season-high 98 points in their last game, I am still leaning towards the under in this first-round clash. TCU did play good defense in their last game but really struggled with their shot. They have only scored 60 points in the two losses in their last three games. In the Horned Frogs' last four games, the total has gone under every time. I look for them to play good defense again, but I also look for them to struggle with their shot facing a good defensive Sun Devils team. Look for a lower scoring affair in this one. Under the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.